Wright State Baseball hosting Northern Kentucky this weekend. The team's beginning Friday tied for first place in the Horizon League. Bottom three, Patrick Fultz with a pop fly to short center. It's caught, but the ball does travel far enough for Garrick Anglin to tag and score. And the Raiders take a 5-3 lead to the fourth inning. C.J. Grad, Sebastian Gonger on the mound. This was one of his eight strikeouts as he continues his strong season individually. Bottom of the fifth, Jay Lucart sends a line drive up the middle. And Anglin waved around third, and he will score to extend the Raider lead to 6-3 through 5. Then the bomb of the 6. That was 6-4 game. Andrew Patrick sends a fly ball to right center. That brings Dane Thomas home. Patrick would have a first inning home run and he brings in another run on a ground rule double in the 7th. Wright State winning big on Friday. 14-5 the final and the Raiders now are in sole possession of the first place in the Horizon League. I thought we did a really good job battling today. Offense picking me up. Um, felt really good to get that person, especially against a really good offense like that, really good team like that. They've been hot recently, so just really good to get out here and, and take it to them the first game. And I had a little bit of a fan club today, so it was nice having them here. And, and you know, when I have you know, that kind of support here, it gives me a little bit of comfort when I'm pitching. Yeah, I feel like we're playing our best ball right now. And um, if we keep playing the Raider, Raider game baseball, I feel like we can go a long way. So, um, yeah, just, just keep playing. Well, here are the standings through Friday's games. You see just one game separating the Raiders and Norse. If Northern Kentucky wins Saturday and Sunday, they would move into solo first place. And the top two teams get first round buys to the double elimination portion of the conference tournament. UD, by the way, has a home series this weekend with St. Joseph's that starts with a doubleheader on Saturday.